everyone. I just wanted to make this video so that you could see how Candy's Inside Memorial has come out. Um, I made it on one of my my pretty stands that I like to display my things on and pictures and things like that. I cleared off this bottom shelf down here and I made her whole entire setup for her resting spot in the house that I can look at and think of her and love her throughout my days. And so I wanted to show you I hope that you can hear me okay. I'm sorry I didn't say my normal hello. I'm a little, you know, scattered at the moment. I just finished this for now. I'd like to, you know, go through it from beginning to end to show you a little bit closer what I did. So over here is a picture of Candy and Dad uh, at our wedding in the backyard and her little maid of honor dress was on so i set that there and i have a little prayer porcelain box here that's shaped like a church that says give it to god and i write little notes in there to pray for her and think of her and write her messages right here is a beautiful rainbow that was made for me by my beautiful friend dawn and sent to me um down here i have this little sign that says be happy with the rainbow i got that sticker that came in a whole sheet from shein for i think it was four dollars and i just set it up as the backdrop around her um the vase there's the church lit up from the dollar tree uh which is you know where she left us to go over the rainbow bridge at the vet hospital her last visit there at the vet hospital there is a church across the street and i had a beautiful moment uh at that church on the day of picking up her urn and so when i saw that at the dollar tree i definitely wanted to get it it actually looks quite like the church that was across the street and then this book down here i've had for a really really long time and inside of this book are stories of candy that we all share all of her nicknames that we always called her little things and messages that we want to write in there and she certainly was the queen of absolutely everything around here for all the years that we had her my sweet beautiful baby girl was 15 years old when she left a couple of weeks ago and i just can't even believe it still there's some little rainbow pins on there that were gifted to us by some beautiful friends that sent us memorial items and the love through the mail for those things to come in the mail was so special to us. So I set those little uh, rainbow pins on her book. There is my sweet baby in her urn and I used one of the angel wing ornaments to just rest against her while she sits in this beautiful spot that I created for her. I actually made this bow uh, centerpiece underneath her out of ribbon from the Dollar Tree. Uh, and I just, I hot glued it all into like a circle type of cute little uh, bow like form. And I used it as a place for her to rest on with all the beautiful colorful rainbow ribbon over here these kiss chocolates there was a jar inside of the vet office before she went to heaven that said that there was a jar of chocolates there in this room because no dogs should go no pets dogs especially should go to heaven without tasting chocolate and they had a whole entire jar of uh hershey's kisses so i want to keep hershey's kisses here and i love these because they're pink to represent my little girl 
Those beautiful bracelets were also in gift sets that were sent to us by my beautiful friends here that I've made through my YouTube journey. They came with those beautiful cards right here that say the rainbow bridge poem on them. There's a beautiful decorative box with the rainbow hearts on it I used to display and a necklace that also came from the Dollar Tree with the rainbow heart on it. That little angel pin keychain tucked in the corner is an angel that I found in the carriage on the day that we took her for her eight hour ride before we let her be at peace and brought her to the vet for her appointment. I found that randomly in the cart when I went into the Dollar Tree to grab Richie and I a drink from just absolute exhaustion and dehydration. And I stopped to get us a couple of drinks on our eight hour journey with her, holding her, hugging her, kissing her, loving her, telling stories of her and all the things that we wanted to do before her physical body was no longer with us. And we spent the day going to the beach, the mountains, and all the things that we love to do the most all together as a family with her with us. And that beautiful, unbelievably important guardian angel keychain was resting inside of the carriage. It had just gotten left behind, but I know it was put there at that moment of just pure sadness throughout that day uh, to meet us and come with us. So I have that there. Then up here, I have this beautiful little LED light with this cloud image, and that's from the Dollar Tree as well. So are these little garden uh, figures here of the rainbow and the little girl riding the llama with her wings on. And that sign back there is from the Dollar Tree also. And it says BFFs on it with the heart and a rainbow, which is completely appropriate because she definitely was not only my dog daughter, but my very best friend that I spent my days with, especially over this last year that I was home with her for the majority of the year, just spending all my time with her. Uh, you know, it just, it's an incredible gouge in my soul to not have her here. We know that someday our pets are not going to be with us, but this is definitely the hardest thing I could have imagined it feeling like to be without her. So this is what I have here now. This is probably how I'm gonna keep it. I may add a couple more pictures when we start printing out and framing little photographs of her that I might speckle around other places and um i'll show you if anything changes with it but for now this is it and i hope that you guys liked this walk through of my memorial spot for my baby sweet girl i love you guys so much and thank you for always supporting loving and being a part of our life through the good days and the bad always you guys are wonderful people and i'm so fortunate to know every single one of you i love you guys bye